So yeah, I'll get it going. Here I'm arguing still. Like a married couple. Good morning. Start to another week here. <laughs> Usual weather. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, I just want to touch on uh, my last video, which is uh, gone out on Sunday. Um, Seem to be getting a few comments off people who have <laughs> obviously uh, had similar experiences that I've had over the years with regards to retentions and subcontracting, tendering for work, so all that sort of carry on. So yeah, it, you know, it, that's why I did it. I just uh, I see it on LinkedIn all the time. Companies going bust, doing you know, subbies, retention money, this and the other. It's ridiculous. Something's got to change. But anyway, that was last week. This is now. But what I want to say this week, what is actually going on with this weather? I feel like Michael Fish sometimes. Look at that bleeding state of it today. It's, it's awful. Luckily, the the lads are only doing half a day a day, actually. I just, because I wasn't sure if they were going to get finished 100% uh, last week with all the school works. So I, I kind of left today just a little job on purpose, just in case. So, anyway, they've just. Uh, They've more or less done it. Uh, it's sort of mid morning now. I've been busy this morning. I've been here since quarter to seven actually, catching up. Um, they've just literally rung me and said they're more or less done there. Um, they were just doing a little palisade repair where a car had gone into it at, at school, just local tours in Orsworth. And uh, they've just said um, gates have all dropped, which we didn't go out to do. Basically, the existing gates have all dropped. They might as well adjust them and get them sorted out for them while they're there. So I'm just going to do that for five, ten minutes, uh, get the gate sorted out for the school. And then that'll be them. Uh, but like I say, weather's, weather's atrocious anyway, so probably a good thing. And then Justin's just going to go get some Euclips, I believe, from Manchester. So yeah, I will leave it at that for now and get cracked on. You wouldn't believe this was the same day now, would you? Eh, uh, look at sun now. Anyway, let's see what uh, Gal's up to over here. Look at him, he's like a spaceman in his new welding thing, he's loving it, look at this. Spaceman Gal. Breathing apparatus and all that. Costing company thousands of years. <laughs> well, he can breathe now, he can't complain. He can't complain now that he's got uh, bad lungs, but yeah, we're just making some extensions here. Um, basically, the that I think I've already talked about it. They've got a three meter high fence that they've just had installed. Not by us. They got a um, funding grant from the, uh, I think it might have been even Lottery or Sport England or something. Got somebody else in and it's three meters high and then they've realized it's next door to a car park they've just had built. So balls are going over and uh, damaging cars. So we're basically extending it by 1.2. So, He's more or less knocked them all up already. I think there's... Were there 40 some of them, Carl? 40? 46, I think. 40, 46 of them, I think. And then two for the gate post, but... Whoa, it's windy like, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> right, Gail just come through then. So, we've just had the panels delivered this morning, actually. So they there, look. Clamp bars should be in there, and these are... 1.2 panels that we're gonna extend. not sunshine. No, nope. it's been cold. So we're just in Rawdon today. Lads are just turning vans around. So what we're doing today is we're doing a bit of 1.8 fencing off this high bit, and we're actually going for a 1.2, uh, sorry, a 2.1 gate just to marry it all nice and level. This gate, because it's such a narrow gap, is actually going to be notched over the wall, post about there, and then it'll open and shut. And then that's the, that's the first bit. And then once we've done that, we'll be coming around to the other side and we'll be doing pretty much the same. This one's just gonna be a 1.8 gate. We're gonna chop a bit of this tree down. We'll land a post there because this is sloping ground going away. We're just gonna put a post about there and then we'll feed it through for the rest. Bolted onto the wall. So yeah, happy days. So we're already done at this side. Didn't take long, so we've got 
bit of a longer post in there, tape for this long one here. That's going to be a two, two meter gear, and then it's one eight running nice and straight. And then we're just around the other side. So we've got Jamie here, no Ivy's Jamie, that's what we call him now. He's just making gear there. And then we've just got this here. Yeah, these two are arguing like little old women, like usual. The voice of them, it might. Jamie's voice is worse than our lassies. Put up with her longer than I can put up with him. <laughs> Off the other side, so that's what Gay is making now for this side. And you see, it's just already paled up. Let's get that on now. I reckon he'll have us back as well once he sorts these trees out. I can still hear him around here. Probably going to want to stretch up there as well. So, yeah, we'll get it going. You hear him arguing still. Shh. Like a married couple. To have a video without you two arguing with each other. Uh, we're all done. Got your two, two meter gate there, your 1.8 fencing to match it. All opening and closing. I'm just packing up now, we're going to go down to Grove House and just to adjust the gate. Jamie's right there, no IVs like usual. And we've got this side as well. Looking good. What a different country here this morning. Birds are singing, sun is shining. It's currently about quarter to seven. I just got here nice and early just to get a few bits started before the lads get here. So I've actually got to do one of them stupid speed awareness courses this morning. Uh, so I thought the road were 40 where it's always been 40 and suddenly they've changed it to 30. I didn't know. Mobile speed camera gets me at 30 odd. Just a scam in it really. Another tax. Yeah, I understand people speeding but that's just, that's just collecting funds. Is that? It's not to do with road safety in my opinion but there you go. So I've done my uh, speed awareness course, not bad actually, there's some stuff uh, I learnt that you've forgotten about after driving 35 years. But anyway, I'm just on a site survey now, basically you've seen this stuff at side of me. All this is to come down, it goes all the way around basically. We're just doing it all out and moving in, it's about 240 metres it says, well, I'll get it on Google Earth. My YouTube, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, luckily they're um, a utility company so they can do the groundworks and um, pull all the stuff down. Well, basically it's all the way down, all the way up there, goes up there and then up the hill. It goes all the way around back at building and back down here. So like I say, the utilities company, so they've got grab wagons and uh, diggers, big machines, so they'll pull all that down in front of us, so that'll be brilliant. So yeah, the lads are just going over, well they should be there now actually, at uh, near Cookridge, Horsworth. I think they were about 30 metres to do in total, 1.8. Uh, customers garden actually, but they're backing onto some wood, so it, it, it looks nice and uh, Carl's more or less done with his post extensions he's been doing. They just need to go up quarters. There's a little bit of a production line going there. So yeah, that's a decent job next week to extend an existing fence. I've just got the kettle on. I'm going to have a brew. Alright, so we're just in Cookridge and Leeds. We're actually on a domestic job, but they're having commercial fencing. It's nice green, so it'll blend in once all this grows back. So there's going to be coming down here, There'll be a few half panels going down there. Nice, uh, no gaps on this because I've got a dog. It's going to be going in between this bush here. It's 1.8 V mesh in green we're doing. And we're going to be going all the way down here. And then just see where this gravel ends here. This is basically his property line. We're going to be going back in there where I already marked with a shovel. And then this section here, I've already moved all these bricks out of the way. They're all stacked up here. And we're just going to be finishing in just where shed is. Yeah. Not a bad little job. We'll get out of here, get this done. Lads are cracking on with first one now, so we'll get that done. And uh, yeah, job's a good one. Beautiful day. Can't ask for better. So I'm just uh, just about to set off and leap lads to it, so we'll get a little video of how we've got on so far. 
Yeah, as you can see, because it's stepping down, so it shuts through the base, uh, there's a few gaps. Well, he's actually going to fill them in, he's not all right for us, so that's good. It's going down there, and some people say, do you know what, this stuff isn't for, you know, gardens. But some gardens it is for, especially ones with hedges. When these hedges grow back, it's going to grow into this green fence, and it doesn't need maintaining, it doesn't need anything doing to it like timber does, and it'll look beautiful. You can still keep that little bit of nature with your gardens. So this is going to be going up to this line, coming back, and then coming up to this fence. Actually Justin's off today, he was actually at gym this morning but he's actually off work today. Uh, the lads have just gone, they're doing a very small repair over in uh, Keefley, Phoenix School. Uh, they've already got the mesh on site of the school, basically somebody's been and cut one of the panels, uh, prison mesh. So they're just replacing that and they're just putting some bits of mesh on the bottoms because there's like big holes underneath it apparently. So they're just going to fill that in, it's literally take them an hour at most, it'll take them as long. Get, getting over there but um, yeah and then Carl's uh, 